Welcome to Family Tree Magazine's Best Websites Podcast. This is the podcast devoted to finding the best websites to help you with your genealogy research. I'm Lisa Louise Cook. In each episode of this podcast, we highlight one of the best websites that can help you with your genealogy research. In this episode, we're going to kick off the new year with a website near and dear to our hearts, the Family Tree Magazine website at FamilyTreeMagazine.com. That's right, FamilyTreeMagazine.com is not just the home base for our magazine, it's really a treasure trove of information and resources that can help you on a daily basis. So, Come along with me as we dig into some of my favorite nooks and crannies of the website. But first, if you're new to genealogy, welcome. And wow, you are in for some fun. So your first stop at FamilyTreeMagazine.com is to click on Get Started in the menu. And there you're going to find a really nice introductory article. It's called How to Do Genealogy, 10 Steps for Beginner Family Historians. This is really going to lay out the path for you that you can follow so you can quickly make progress. But even more importantly, you're going to be laying a good foundation and you'll be sure that you've covered all your bases so that you can come along with us to the other areas of the website and make even more progress. Now, if you've been doing genealogy for a while, then you know that many genealogy websites are subscription based and they require a financial investment. But you can accomplish a tremendous amount by tapping into free resources that are also out there. And that's why our first official stop in the menu at FamilyTreeMagazine.com is called Free Resources. There you are going to find a plethora of offerings in the categories of free genealogy forms, free quick reference guides, free genealogy ebooks, and of course, this free podcast, the Family Tree Magazine, monthly genealogy podcast, and of course, this best websites podcast. So let's take a second and take a look at these because there is just so much here to work with. One of my favorites is the free genealogy form section. There you're going to find all the essential forms. Now, why would you need forms? Well, again, it keeps you organized. And you know, we don't always know what we don't know. So a form is going to kind of give you check boxes. Have you found this? Have you found that? It's going to jog you to realize, oh, there's something else to be found that's going to be able to help you that maybe you weren't aware of. So I love these forms. They keep you organized. They help you know that you've covered everything you need to. You're also going to find family tree templates and relationship charts kind of help keep all the, the ancestors organized research forms and organizers, worksheets, um, particularly census worksheets. As you're working through, you know, pretty information packed records, it can be helpful to have a worksheet to kind of enter the most critical information that you need that you want to keep track of. There's also ancestor immigration forms and uh, forms for recording your family history. So these are all downloadable and free. Next up, we have the free quick reference guides. Now, again, so many areas within genealogy to learn about and to explore. And these guides are going to help you guide your way through the path and make sure that you find everything that you need. You're going to find U.S. statewide vital records guides. There's a guide to German genealogy terms, Spanish uh, genealogy terms, military Um, you might want to just start by clicking the very first link in that sub menu, which is all quick reference guides. And there you're going to be able just to scroll down and find what you need. Uh, Again, lots of different topics within genealogy, and we have the guides to help you do it. And they're absolutely free. Next up, did you know that there are a lot of free genealogy ebooks out there? So you'll see in the list, you can click through and just look at all genealogy ebooks, or um, there are some very specific ones like 48ancestry.com search tips. If you're using Ancestry, this is a must. You've made an investment in using their website. You're going to want to be able to find um, everything that's, that's possible. And these search tips in this free ebook are going to help. There's also an ebook for military records, preserving old photos and your family history. 
How about writing prompts? You want to write about what you're finding. 30 family history writing prompts. Also, surnames, family search tips and surnames and origins. So lots of great free ebooks there. Again, if you want to peruse them all, just uh, go under free resources and click all free ebooks and scroll through the list. There's just a tremendous amount there to choose from. And finally, under free resources, we have this podcast. And this is really a tremendous resource, I think, for you. We've been doing this podcast for 15 years. And originally, it was uh, the monthly show. Now we've got two shows. We've got the, the regular show where we have lots of different features. And then this best website show. Each one has a landing page. So that's your show notes page. So if there's specific topics that you want to learn about, you can look through the podcast page, find the episode that addresses that topic, and then click through the show notes page there. You're going to find links to, of course, everything that we talk about. So it's a wonderful resource and a great way to learn about genealogy and family history when you're on the go, in the car, out exercising, doing all that stuff that life has you doing. You can still keep doing genealogy and take us with you. So right there, just having explored the free resources section, I think you can see why Family Tree Magazine really, you know, in our humble opinion, is one of the best websites for genealogy available to you. And so much of it is absolutely free. Now, before we finish up with free stuff, also in the menu, if you click under websites, click the link to best free genealogy websites, and you're going to find a comprehensive list that's been compiled over the years of websites where you can have a ton of success at absolutely no cost. Now, the list is by no means exhaustive, because really, there are new sites coming online all the time. Uh, And it's not entirely only genealogy websites, because there are a lot of free websites out there that weren't built for genealogy necessarily, but they are packed full of information that's valuable to family historians. So browse the list or jump right to the topic that you're looking for using the handy table of contents. Again, it's under websites in the menu, and you're going to be clicking best free genealogy websites. And don't worry, we'll even in our show notes page have direct links to um, all these different unique pages that we're talking about. Now, chances are you already know some of the countries where your ancestors come from, or you've discovered those countries by reviewing records like the census. Well, you can learn a lot more about your ancestors' heritage and homeland by clicking Explore by Place at FamilyTreeMagazine.com. This section is really well organized. In fact, I think one of the things that's happened in the last couple of years is a, is a total reorganization of the menu, and it's just so easy to navigate. So if we do explore by place, there you're going to find North America, you're going to find Europe, and then subcategories for particular countries. Um, this is a great starting place. You'll find articles on not just the history of these locations, but the records that are available and even more importantly, sometimes the records that are not available, you don't want to be spending, you know, dozens of hours looking for something that actually doesn't exist. So this kind of background is really critical to being successful and really making the best use of your time. So you'll find these articles are talking about the records, where to find them and how to find them. And some of the brick walls that you might run into, maybe how to navigate around them. You'll also find links to books and heritage organizations under each country. So that's pretty handy as well. One of the ones that I've been using a lot lately is the Explore Your Irish Heritage page. Um, I have Irish ancestors. Ireland poses a lot of its own uh, challenges to us as researchers. There are some brick wall situations we have to deal with. But you can learn so much. And this information is coming to you from real genealogy experts in this particular area. And that's what I love about it. So uh, I was checking out articles like Five Steps to Finding Your Irish Ancestors. There's a section on Irish genealogy fast facts. So if you're not 
that familiar with the history of a particular country. Oh, I loved it. I went through it and kind of just got the overview kind of decade by decade, century by century. What was the history of Ireland? And and that's going to impact what I'm looking for and what kind of records might be available. There's vital records that were kept so we can learn about civil registration records, uh, best records for genealogists, immigration waves. That's really helpful, too. If you're trying to figure out when did my people come, um, knowing the history of when the major waves of immigration happened, that's going to really give you some great hints on maybe where to start looking. Uh, Then, of course, there's finding your Irish ancestors. So there's genealogy Q&A on Irish research, uh, finding your Scots-Irish ancestors, uh, all kinds of the, the best UK and Irish genealogy websites, Uh, Just tremendous resources. And this is the kind of offering you're going to find for each of these different countries. Now, if you want to add DNA to your heritage research, ah, head to the menu and click DNA plus heritage at familytreemagazine.com. There you're going to find two subcategories. There's DNA And there's, again, heritage. So really, there's kind of two main places to find the heritage information. Here, we're going to find under heritage, African American, Eastern European, uh, German, Austrian, and Prussian, Native American, and then you're going to find DNA. Now, using DNA to its full potential for genealogy, it might seem a little bit daunting. Maybe you've done a test but when you got the results, you know, you, you kind of check out the, the basics that the, the service provides you. But then how do you get more out of it? Um, it doesn't have to be that daunting. Be sure to check out our DNA Q&A section in the menu. You're going to find dozens of quick and easy to digest articles that are all on the most common questions about making sense of DNA. If you have these questions, I can guarantee you other people do as well. And we break them down. And what's really nice about this is it's not, you know, one article trying to tackle the entire subject. It gets right to the heart of, you know, you're moving along in your research, you're looking at your results, and a question hits you like, what exactly is a DNA segment? Hmm. Well, there is one article on that. You can click through, get that answer. And get it in detail, but get it quickly so you can keep going. There's also DNA testing for kids. Or the answer to the question, my DNA doesn't match who I thought I was. Now what do I do? Or is it worth retaking a DNA test? Or have you heard people talking about DNA painter? Do you need to use that? And and how do you do it? Those are the kinds of quick and helpful articles that you're going to find Uh, And under DNA plus heritage in the menu at familytreemagazine.com. As I promised, there's so much there for you to discover, so much that can help you make tremendous progress absolutely for free. And when you do make that financial investment, how to get the most out of it. I am going to have links to some of these top pages we've been talking about in our show notes page. And then of course, I just encourage you to go to familytreemagazine.com and explore that menu. Go to the topics that you need and start having even more genealogical success. I'm so glad that you joined me for this very special Best Websites podcast episode of the Family Tree Magazine podcast. While you're at the website, I would encourage you to sign up for our free email newsletter. It's the perfect way to stay in touch with everything we've got going on at Family Tree Magazine, including our other podcast, the Family Tree Magazine podcast. I'm Lisa Louise Cook, and you can find me at my website, genealogygems.com, where you'll find links to my podcast, the Genealogy Gems podcast, and YouTube channel. Until next time, have fun climbing your family tree. <laughs>